are you receiving a lot of form submissions from your contact form, your feedback form, and some of these messages are super long and you need to get through them really quickly? Well, I'm going to show you how to summarize these messages using the power of AI technology. So follow me to my desktop to show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to summarize your form submissions using the power of AI technology. Now, to accomplish this, we are going to need three technologies. One is Job Form, which is going to receive our form submissions. The second one is going to be Public Connect, which is going to be the automation connection between our third service, service which is OpenAI. OpenAI is the intelligent technology that's going to summarize our messages. Um, Public Connect is the bridge. If you need to use something else like Zapier or Make, it is possible. So let's get started with this tutorial. First of all, let me create a simple form that we're going to use for this. And I'm going to use a template. We're going to use a simple contact form. So let's use this feedback form. Let's go ahead and use this one. There we go. And this is where the message is going to be. Describe your feedback, all right? Now, to connect, we're gonna head on over to settings, integrations, and we're gonna search for webhook. We're gonna need this one. And this is where we're going to grab our webhook. Now, the next step we're going to do is go to public connect. This is the automation bridge that we're going to use. Remember, you can use something else like Maker Zapier if you like. Let's go ahead and create a new flow. And we're gonna name this we go Go and create and the first step is the trigger what is going to trigger this automation service to connect so we're going to use dot form button connect and the trigger event is going to be a new response which, which is a submission this is the webhook that we are going to need so let's go ahead and copy this let's go back to dot form let's add the webhook link here let's add it there we go let's complete the integration and there we go, it's integrated. So now when every single form submission is filled out from this specific form, it's gonna send the data to Padly Connect. Now for now, it's waiting for a webhook response. That means we need to fill out that form once so we grab that data. So let's go into Jot Form, let's go ahead and publish, open in a new tab, and let's go ahead and fill this out once. So we're going to say, we're gonna grab a message for this. Now, for the summarizations that we're going to use, I'm going to grab these Apple Store uh, reviews. So let's grab something like this one, all right? And I'm gonna use that for the first feedback here. Let's go ahead and add it. The name, we're gonna say Johnny Depp. Oops. Depp, and the email, I'll use mine. Let's go ahead and submit the feedback. There we go, let's go back into Pavli, and it should receive that form submission in a bit. There we go, we just grabbed it, and this is needed because we're going to use these variables for the next step, okay? So this is the trigger. Every single submission is going to trigger this. And what do we want to do with this? Well, we want to trigger OpenAI, which is our next service. This is the automation system, and it's going to generate content. Let's go ahead and connect. And for this, we're going to need the API or token from OpenAI. Now in OpenAI, this is the main account where you're going to grab your API key is over here. Click on the top menu and we're going to go into view API keys and we're going to create a new secret key. This is the one we're going to need to connect and probably connect, okay? I've already added mine, so I'm gonna use it, okay? Let's go ahead and save this. There we go, it's connected and we can select the AI model. In my personal perspective, I think you should use the 003, which is the newest technology and the smartest technology from OpenAI, which is called DaVinci. Okay, and this is the prompt. This is where we're going to make it smart. Let's go into OpenAI. And in OpenAI, this is the main section. We're gonna go into Playground. In the Playground, we're gonna tell it what we want to do. Like, what do we want this smart technology to do for us? And in this case, we want it to summarize. So we're gonna tell it, Please summarize this message, okay? And we're gonna say message, and this is where we're going to add it. Now, let's do a few tests to show you how it can actually work. Now, remember, we grabbed this review from Apple Store, okay? Let's go into this section, let's go ahead and paste it, and let's go ahead and submit it, and it should summarize it. Now, be aware that this is a fairly short message. Let's go grab something that's 
longer, okay? So let's find a review that's really long. Okay, this one is super long, and it's a, a complaint from what I see. And let's go back into our playground. Let's remove this, and let's add the message. Remember, this is just for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and submit it, and it should, should summarize this message. And there we go. Instead of being a long form, we're gonna receive a summarization of this. So we know that this is working, the prompt, okay? So let's go ahead and remove this. Let's go into view code. And in the view code, this is what we're going to need. There we go, in, in the hyperlink. Let's go ahead and grab it. In Pavli, this is where the prompt is going to go. Now remember, this message, it's going to be variable. So remember, each time we receive the feedback from the form, we want that message to be summarized. So we're gonna grab that variable from the past form for the trigger that we received. So let's find that section and here it is. Let's see what is my source for my technology. Here it is, let's go ahead and select it. And the max tokens, this is the amount of tokens you want to use from OpenAI. Now I'm gonna say 1000 because it could be a super long message. If you leave it by default, it's 256 tokens. Be aware that it's if it's a super, super long message, and 256 tokens not, might not be enough. So I would suggest 1,000 and over. If it's 100, it's gonna use 100. Don't worry, it's not gonna use 1,000 every single time. Plus, it's super inexpensive to use OpenAI. And for this, we're gonna leave it as it is. The best of one. Let's go ahead and save and send test request. And it should summarize that little test message that we used, okay? Here it is, here's the result. There we go. Now, what do we want to do with this? Well, we can do a lot of things. What if we want to receive a message of this summarized section, okay? Now in Pavli Connect, you have several options. One would be SMTP, which is you could connect any email account that you have if you have the SMTP details. But in this case, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use a Gmail for this, and it's gonna send me an email with the summarization. So send an email, let's go ahead and connect. Again, add a new connection, connect your Gmail. It's gonna ask you to accept the terms and conditions and allow it to send emails on your behalf. In this case, I've already connected, so I'm gonna use mine. Now, the recipient email, which is gonna be me for this demo purposes, and I can CC and BCC if I like. The sender name, I'll say drop form. The email subject, I will say summarized message from submission. There we go. Reply to, I'll reply to myself. Email content type, simple. Now for the email content, this is where we can add all the system information from the past connections. Remember, we have the connection from the trigger, let me close this, from the job from trigger and the OpenAI generation. And we wanna add some of these um, details into our email that we're going to receive. So for example, from the job from response, we want to receive, we wanna know, I'll say for example, message from Okay, and I'll put the name. Remember, it's Johnny, space, and I'll put the last name, Deb. And I'll say, summarized message. And again, I'm gonna grab this from the OpenAI variable, so I'm gonna select it, and here's the details. And I'll also add the original message. So I'll say, original feedback. Remember, this was a feedback form, so I'll say like that. Feedback, and this one, we're not gonna grab it from OpenAI. We're gonna grab the original message from JotForm. So here it is. And I can add more details. I can add the form ID, I can add the form email, etc., and all of that added here. Okay, I can add file name and attachments. In this case, I won't do so. Let's go ahead and save and send. And we should receive an email with that information. Now, we're going to test this right now all right so let's go ahead and fill out that form again going to open in a new tab and i'll just say i don't know suggestions in the feedback let me grab another message from the reviews let me try to find something that's super long again okay so i found this one it's not super long but it'll do okay let's go back into the form let's describe your feedback there we go the name i'll say john doe the email Submit the feedback, and there we go. So right now, with the automation we created with Public Connect and OpenAI, it's doing all the work automatically for us. It's receiving the submission, and OpenAI is doing the summarization, and we should get that email in a bit. So let's go open up that email that we should receive. Okay, here's the email that we've just received. 
remember the message from and it's John Doe the summarized message which is this one and we also included the original feedback message so both of these now the summarization wasn't that small but we can do um, like I said if it's a longer message it will summarize now we can do more things with OpenAI because we can tell it to summarize the message we can say please summarize this message so a 10th grader can understand it okay so that's going to make it even more summarized so let's go ahead and grab this same message and let's try to summarize it okay and the test here summarize there we go so it's going to be simpler to understand because oh we actually grabbed the summarized one so let me make we should grab the long one grab it here paste it and submit so you're going to get this message in a summarized message where a 10th grader should understand it now you can make this even so a let me change this 10 year old can understand it so we can even make it simpler let's go ahead and remove this submit and it should make it simpler so a 10 year old can understand it so it's understanding open ai with this ai technology is understanding what we want to do with this message so you can see it even summarized it further so if you want to use this we can go ahead again view the code we can grab this code here let's grab it here copy go back into the connection for the open ai prompt and in the prompt this was the original one we can change this okay so now let's go ahead and save it There we go. Let me run the test again. Let's go ahead and fill out the submission. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go open a new tab. And again, let me go ahead and grab something that's long so we can summarize it so a 10 year old can understand it. Okay, so I found this message. Let's go ahead and grab it here. Let's go into the feedback form. Let's add it. It's going to be a question. I'll put my name, put my email and submit it. There we go. So again, Public Connect is going to receive the submission. OpenAI is going to do the summarization and then Pavli Connect is going to send us that email with the summarization so even a 10 year old can understand it. So let's go check out that email. Okay, here's the email with the summarization. We can see here. So it's simpler to understand and even a 10 year old. So it's not going to use none of the fancy words and any professional words or business words. It's going to make it simple so a 10 year old can understand it. So that's the beauty of OpenAI. I mean, we can make it even smarter by helping it and telling it what we actually want from it. And we can test it here on the playground before we actually implement it on Pavli Connect so we receive these summarizations. Now imagine you are receiving a ton of feedback and submissions from your job form. Well, it's gonna be simpler to go through the messages with the summarization instead of reading all of these messages unless you really have to, right? So it, it just helps you out to summarize these messages. And that is how you're going to summarize your job form submissions using the power of AI. We thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.